Hello guys, today we've got this um, 2011 Audi A1, it's a 1.6 diesel. The customer initially uh, called us out for a um, diagnostics check. Um, we actually went out and done a diagnostics to the customer, found out that the um, temperature sensor, I think it was number three, on the exhaust was faulty. Um, absolute nightmare to get to, so we've had to take it into the garage, um, drop all the exhaust to get to this sensor. Luckily, we've swapped all that out, um, managed to get the vehicle back last night. Customers left the vehicle with us uh, because once we, when we actually initially went and done the diagnostics check, um, I, I looked into the DPF and the sensors and stuff and it actually turns out the DPF was blocked. Now this vehicle um, didn't actually show any signs or any fault codes um, relating to the DPF, but when we looked into the sensor, uh, and all the live data on the diagnostics, it actually turned out to be really right, bad. Right. So um, usually the most typical block DPF we come across is anywhere really above 20 millibar. Um, so if it's above it's around 20 or above 20, it's usually pretty blocked and needs cleaning. Um, this one, that's on idle as well. This one, straight away, error one on idle. Um, which is which sometimes we don't even get that with revving at 3,000 revs or two and a half thousand revs, which we go off. Um, so error one on idle. I don't know if you can hear that, but the um, the amount of air coming out of this is is, is crazy. So um, we're going to flush into this, let it soak a little bit longer than what we usually would, and then um, we're going to go from there. Right, guys. So we've uh, connected up our, our DPF gun. Um, we've had to put a little modified pipe on. Um, just to bypass the sensor um because on these vehicles the sensor's right up the top there it's not the easiest to get to well it's, it's not impossible but you, it just means taking off all the air box and all the rest of it or if we had a garage and a ramp it'd be a little bit easier uh, but we don't have one at the minute so we're gonna go directly into the dpf which is just underneath there and then we're gonna let it soak do the dpf flush out and then uh get us all back on the road fingers crossed alright guys so uh, we're just on the first flush on the DPF now um, we're going to test the pressure throughout do a couple of more flushes and um, that should be all sorted back on the road alright guys so uh, we just finished the first uh, flush out of the DPF we flushed in let the chemical soak uh, we've just flushed out of the DPF and uh, there we go uh, on idle we were at 6.8 millibar or there or thereabouts and um, that is absolutely crazy. We usually don't get it down that quick actually from um, over, it would have been at over 120, I would say it would have been at over 130 millibar on idle. Um, so we've got some pretty good results there. That's great stuff. We're just gonna do another flush out of the DPF now just to uh, get rid of any other loose soots and little bits in there. And um, that'll be it, do all the resets and we'll go for a little spin. Alright guys, we've just finished up on the DPF clean, we've just flushed out and uh, you can't really see that too well but that's basically all the stuff we managed to get out of the DPF now this one was pretty bad so we're just going to go for a little test run now um, do all the resets on the um, diagnostics before we do that um, there's actually no fault code showing on this one at the moment um, for some weird reason it doesn't trigger a fault when you um, when the pipes are disconnected which it usually does on most vehicles however uh, we're going to reset all the sensor and all the DPF anyway um, just in case we have interfered with anything along the way um, so that'll just cover all that but pretty successful clean and uh, again that's all the black soot coming out of it have a look at that so it's a bit crazy uh, how much soot actually gets caught in these things but that's the DPF clean guys again ODA 1 uh, 2011 1.6 diesel thanks for watching